energy and his long serves, his pace, the way he hits the ball hard. Yeah. Maybe if he beats more then we have a final That's right. on our hands. That's right. Because, you know, he has not had that experience of playing um, uh, Novak Djokovic in the final. Maybe he might just be able to step up. But the way this guy is playing, the way Serena Williams uh, also plays, it's going to be very, very uh, difficult. Serena Williams uh, closing down on Steffi Graf. If she wins this, it's 32. And she's quite capable of winning this. And he said something that I quickly um, li like to buttress as well. It's, it's now Novak and the others. Mm. As a matter of fact, the others is divided into two. You have some guys, and it's, it looks like an insult to call Roger <laughs> Federer and Nadal his rivals because of the way he takes them out. It's mm. just, it, you know, it, it's not fair to call them rivals. Just, just to join in, I think <laughs> during, during the second week of the Australian Open, Gilles Simon mm. had to deny claims that any player that goes up against Novak is getting the support of every tennis player because they want to see Novak lose. Mm. He had to deny it. And mm. it's looking like that because against everybody, when you, even on his off day, it just blows you apart. Against Kenny Shikori, he didn't play well. Against Joe Simon, he mm. lasted five sets. That's right. But he had 100 on four steros. Mm. 100 on four steros, you should be losing such a game. But he won that and he's digging deeper. And, and next game against Kai was a walk And, and he feels yeah. that he can still do more. He mm. feels he can improve. And, you know, it's th those other guys that have had their time under the sun, talking about Roger Federer yeah. and, and, and um, Rafael Nadal, but doing this to people that we rate so high, <laughs> doing this to people that champions in their yeah. own right. Mm. You know, I, I used to joke with some of my friends that I, I, I've not seen anybody in the modern era that could do what Roger Federer has done, but I've, in the last two years, I've improved wrong. That's right. This is a guy that comes mm. and every Grand Slam, Everybody's playing against him. Hmm. Back at, at least when in, Ro in Roger Federer's day, you know that at least Rafael Nadal will win the French Open. That's right. But this guy comes and then just makes it look and, and it's easy to lose. That's right. Everybody's just and, and his head to head record against the top four, the rest of the guys, the top guys, is is not fantastic. Against Roger, it's 23 22. Against Nadal, nothing to write him about. Against Moore, it's 21 to 9. Against the others, it's like 100 to 0. <laughs> and here's my problem with Roger not getting Novak's numbers these days. It you begins can. to become, it begins to have a mental block. Because every time you meet Novak, you know that you're going in there to lose. And I think that that will, that will be one factor that stands in the way of Roger winning that elusive last Grand Slam I mean, title. You look, at what, you look at what happened last year, the uh, World Tour Finals beat him in the group stage. And he, he yeah. started, you know, making some comments to make it look as if, yeah, I've overcome it. And the guy said, I let you win. Yeah. It sounded like... Uh, what was he saying? Uh, we know they what got, happened in the final. He got to the final and taught him, you know. And I think Roger needs to make it count. He really needs to make it count. It's, it's not as if he doesn't get to beat mm. Novak Djokovic, but he needs to do it on a, on important occasions. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, my problem is that Roger is getting to that point, has gotten to that point where before he can win that 18 Grand Slam, Novak has to be gotten out of the way. That's right. That's totally what I think. agree. And it's not just you guys are saying that Kelvin the Jiggy Man says, uh, no Jupiter will stop Serena Williams from getting this Grand Slam and the beast Djokovic will tear anybody apart this period. Tennis has given us treasures to talk sports. Let's go on a break now. When we come by wrestling and basketball in Nigeria, will get our attention. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Welcome back. You can be part of the show by sending us a message on Twitter, our channels, underscore sports, and on Facebook, our channels, I sports. You can also send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. So much fun talking sports. We've been talking about the ITTF German Open. Arno Quadri has made it to the main draw. The real deal has started for the Nigerian. Can he go all the way? We will know. We told you that football fans in Nigeria are still disappointed that the Super Eagles will no longer feature at the ongoing African Nations Championship. That one should also get you talking. And then our friend Sonny Young has set the, uh, the tone for us to talk about the Australian Open where these guys believe that Novak Djokovic is untouchable at the moment for Serena Williams. You don't even want to talk about it. Uh, uh, Kelvin the Jiggy Man says she'll go all the way to win this year's Australian Open title. I keep telling you guys, hey, just relax. You know, in this world of sports, anything can happen. Let's talk um, wrestling in Nigeria now. Um, we know Odwanyi Adekuroye has qualified for the 2016 Rio Olympics. Some other wrestlers are hoping to qualify by featuring at the African Championship in Egypt. That one will be done in March and afterwards go to Algeria to seal qualification for the Olympics. Now, 
The story is that the Federation, they've gone ahead with a campaign of athletes. They couldn't wait for uh, the National Sports Commission because they know it is very, very important. Now, being joined by the president of the Nigerian Wrestling Federation, Dan Igali. Uh, good evening, Dan, and welcome to the show. Good evening. Thanks for having me on. Fantastic. Uh, what's the update to wrestling in Nigeria? We only know that they've started an unofficial campaign. Tell us more. Um, we're in Yenagua now. All the athletes, um, almost all of them anyway, are in Yenagua now for a film. Uh, we just essentially want to get them uh, a little bit more prepared uh, before the National Sports Commission, uh, which I hope will call us to come in another two weeks, get around to doing that. We want our athletes to get ready. Uh, we, want to, we want to get a bit more uh, specific with some technique that we feel that they can the message from uh, in this camp before we get to the camp and so on. Mm. Talk to us about some of the wrestlers we are hoping can pick um, some qualification to the 2016 Rio Olympics, particularly as we prepare for the African Championships in March. Well, uh, at 48 kilograms in women, uh, we think uh, Messi Genesis, uh, she's 19, but we think she has a good chance to qualify. Uh, she won a gold medal at the Africa Games, and that was our first uh, senior competition. Uh, we're also looking at uh, Blessing Oborodudu at uh, 63 kilograms. Uh, Aminat, uh, 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 Aminat is at 58 kilograms. Aminat, I think, has a good chance to choose an African champion. Uh, we also think that at 75 kilograms, uh, less than Onyebuchi has a good chance to qualify. So in the female class, we have five, five, five of them that should go to the Olympic qualifiers. And we have a good feeling that all, all, almost all of them can qualify. Uh, in men in freestyle, uh, we have a match Daniel at 6 kg, who we think has a good chance to qualify. At uh, 58 and uh, 57 kilograms, the Victor Wenemar, uh, Wilson has a good chance to qualify. At 74, we have Melvin Debo, who has a good chance to qualify. And at 97 kilograms, uh, we have Susu Tamara, who also we think uh, is an African champion and we think he can qualify. Mm. In Greco Roman, we are looking at uh, Emmanuel Warrior at the uh, who we think has the best chance to qualify in that class. So we are we're focusing really on those weight classes. Uh, we'll be here preparing for the next two weeks, uh, uh, working on technique as I said before we get to the camp in proper Abuja. Odua, you are the has already qualified. What's the program for uh, that champion? Because it's very important that uh, she stays busy. Yes, I was doing IoT already. Uh, we're also working on some things we think she can do a bit better and, and add a bit more variation to our style of wrestling. Uh, because the way wrestling is now, uh, it's, it's more scientific. People can scout you to a T and, and uh, uh, essentially block you out when you go to wrestle with them. So we want to add a few more tunnels to our style of wrestling uh, in, the, in the couple of weeks coming up. She's also going to the African Championships. But she will not be able to participate at the Olympic qualifiers at the end of March. So we're making arrangements for her to go train abroad for about six months, uh, about six weeks, uh, and come back uh, early May to come and join the rest of the team. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, Dan, for speaking to us. Thank you very much. That's right. Uh, Danny Gali is the president of Nigeria Wrestling Federation. Yeah, me right away, I'll come to you. We keep saying this. Yes, they're waiting for the NSC, but the NSC is not forthcoming. They've taken their destiny to their own hands. Uh, and that, that's the way to go. Mm. Uh, that, that's always the way to go um, if you're ambitious. Uh, so um, that's what they've shown us over the years, um, the Wrestling Federation, and you know, the way they've always outlined their plans and the way they go about it. And, and this is good thinking. And when you, when you think ahead, there will always be you know, bottlenecks here and there, but you, you think ahead, hope for the best, expect the worst, sure. so that whatever happens, whatever comes your way, I mean, you're not left folding you your hands and, cry, and, and crying. At least you get something, you get on the move. Uh, and, and, you know, th th there are times I try to uh, be reserved in some of the praises I give to people. Daniel is someone who I, I'm, I'm always impressed with, That's you right. know, with yeah. the way he has, uh, with his, he's organized uh, the Federation and, you know, the benefits that has been accruing to Nigeria and to the athletes uh, representing uh, Nigeria. I just hope that uh, all of those wrestlers still seeking qualification places uh, for Rio will get them. And by extension, if, when they do, 
that they, they'll be able to get you know a podium finish, uh, you know, get on the get to the medal zone. Get I don't care about the color anyway. Get something. <laughs> okay, uh, Olawale. Um, if you want to talk about sports on the rise in Nigeria, you cannot ignore wrestling. Yeah, definitely. And you can tell with the programs they have in place, Odwaya has already qualified. And the way the president even believes that more of the female wrestlers will qualify shows they're doing something special. What can we learn from this federation? Uh, we, we, we can learn that uh, planning is, is, is very important. Plan even when there's no support. Because mm. I know that they're encamping without the ministry support. I know the ministry will probably support them later, later on. Later on, yeah. But this is still what Daniel Gali and the others uh, have kick-started on their own. But um, I have to be very, 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 very um, objective in here. I also think that uh, we have dominated because I don't think any other African country has really stood up to us. I think mm. um, we do well in wrestling. That's right. We are, I probably we are the best in Africa. I agree. Uh, but I just hope that it doesn't get to that point where all the African countries start getting clue. But I like the fact that we're developing. That's right. Um, after the uh, Ade Koroye, we've mm. got a couple of guys the, coming of through. Of course, Blessing Oburu do the champion in a ride. I've coaches coming through. There's um, mm. and there's Coach Purity Aku. Mm. There's Coach there's Kode. Happiness. There's yes. Kode also. Mm. So the quality is there. And um, right. I like the fact that they are young coaches. Mm. Um, I just hope that... Um, they can open themselves up more to more knowledge about yeah, um, right. wrestling itself. And that goes a long, long way. And um, I'm optimistic that um, our chances at the qualifiers um, are so, so bright. And um, we just have to go to the Olympics and prove ourselves. Mm. That's the golden girl of wrestling in Nigeria, Odwaya uh, Adekure. She did big things at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. In 2015, she went to India. She stunned everyone. She was beating Indians like they were babies. And... Um, She's done well. She's qualified for the 2016 uh, Rio Olympics. And that's Danny Gali right there. You know, I'm so proud of the Nigerian and what you're I hope we're going to see this in Rio. That's, that's the prayer. You said you know you will see it. You just don't know the color. Yeah, that I've already said that. Yeah. But I hope it's gold, really. Mm. It will make it sweeter. 53 kg freestyle. Or do you have the I want to just wish her all the best. Uh, some of the moments from it. <laughs> that moment on. almost got us angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's okay. It didn't take them good away from us. I, I, we love it because she will sing, she will dance. Most importantly, she will win for herself and Nigeria.